Alright, hey YouTube, it's John, and welcome to your final HTML tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering uh, URLs and uh, how to use them in HTML formatting. Alright, let's go with this tutorial. Okay, so HTML links. Basically, when you click a link in the HTML uh, web page, the, uh, the A tag, which is right here, this is the A tag, what that does is uh, tag points to a place, which is an address on the web with a with the href attribute which is like this so you do a href uh, that's your href and then you put equals and then uh, and then your last page dot htm drop alright so what that does is it sends you to your last page the page that you want in your html so it uh, the last page link uh, is a link that is uh, relative to the website that you are browsing uh, and your browser will construct a full web address uh, to the access page and alright let's go over what URLs are a URL is a uniform resource locator hence URL and it is used to address a document or other data on the World Wide Web or www for, and uh, a full web address is like this right here uh, let me close that a web address would be like will be this right here http slash forward slash forward slash www dot youtube dot com uh, and yeah that's that's what a URL is uh, slash that's what they usually have that's what a basic URL would look like if you're on YouTube and also uh, they also follow these syntax rules so let me get rid of that. Ah, crap. Hold on, guys. Alright, so let's do. I'm going to type in something. So, scheme slash slash host uh, dot domain uh, dot, uh, colon port uh, slash path slash file name. Alright, <coughs> excuse me. So, what a scheme does, it defines the type of internet service that you're using. Uh, the most common is HTTP or someone uses FTP. HTTP is Hypertext Transfer Protocol and FTP is Fire Transfer Protocol. Uh, the domain is defining the internet domain name like YouTube.com and uh, the host is defining the domain host. Uh, the default host for HTTP is www. Uh, the port is defining the port number at the host. The port number is normally omitted, but uh, the default port for the HTTP is usually 80. Uh, the path is a is defining a path or a subdirectory at the server. Uh, if the path is omitted, the the resource or basically the document must be located at the root directory of the site. And the file name is defining the name of the document. Uh, the default file name will be default or yeah default.asp or index.html or basically depending on the settings of your web ser web server. So all right, let's uh, get started with some of this here. All right, so what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a news group, a downloading FTP and link to a mail system in HTML. So uh, basically, what you need to do, know is the schemes. So file it, uh, it's a file. It, Access is a file on your local uh, computer. FTP it accesses a file on the FTP server. Uh, HTTP accesses a file on the World Wide Web server. Uh, a Gopher uh, accesses a file on the Gopher server. A news uh, scheme uh, accesses a Usenet news group. A Telnet accesses a Telnet connection. And a WAIS accesses a file on the WAIS server but you don't really need to worry about those but I'm just going to show you guys downloading FTP uh, accessing a news group and uh, link to your mail system <coughs> excuse me alright the follow this is how we do a uh, link to a news group so uh, oh my bad sorry guys this is a link to a news group alright so the link will be a href equals uh, FTP dot www dot kentley dot com uh, slash FTP uh, slash 
Uh, no, I'm just going to do this. FTP www dot w3 schools dot com slash ftp ftp slash winzip dot exe and then we enter quotations and that uh download uh win zip then we do slash a okay so what this does it creates a link to the download file and it just basically shows up uh, uh, uh let me show you so let me save this uh let's save it as url dot html so save that then we hit f11 to view it in the browser and uh hold on one second my browser's being retarded so give me a minute all right so here's our browser and then uh, let me just put this in there all right so there we go this is your download winzip so basically what it did is uh, it created a link to the W3 schools website to the FTP uh, to the file transfer uh, protocol and it uh, gave us a winzip e e executional file and it just created a link to that uh, file so this is your link all right that's basically what that is and so uh, next we have <coughs> excuse me uh, next we have uh, downloading FTP downloading with FTP so uh, no no uh, news group this is downloading with FTP this will be our news group so we do a href href equals and then news uh, colon alt dot HTML and that close that uh, bracket then HTML uh, news group then you close it with your a tag close it with your a tag so we're gonna view this in the browser again and then uh, hold on one second I need to get this over here so let me get this over here control T Sorry guys, let me get this over. So control Z. There we go. Uh, let me put a break in this. So B B R slash. There we go. Now file save, and then we go to our browser here. Refresh it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we have a link to the HTML news group page. So if we click that. It just gives us a new uh, tab and it opens up the HTML news group page. Oh, there we go. Alright, next we have a link to your mail system. So we do a href equals, yeah, equals uh, mail to colon someone. At uh, I don't know. Let's see here. YouTube.com. End your quotation. End your bracket. Then uh, someone at uh, YouTube.com. Then we do another bracket slash a, and there we go. So this basically does uh, <coughs> creates a link to your mail system, and uh, what the news group does is also creates a uh, link to your news group. So let's view this again. And show you guys what this does. So uh, let me get this open here. All right, there we go. And uh, let's just paste that in there. And there you go. We got someone at YouTube.com. There's your uh, link to your uh, email, and it mails. It. And when you click that, it'll open up your default mailing system, and it'll let you mail it to that person. So. Alright guys, this has been the last and final HTML tutorial. Next I'll be doing uh, scripting languages like JavaScript and VBScript. Alright guys, so comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos. And I will see you guys later. So, alright, I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to hit that big yellow button to subscribe. Alright guys, bye.